Hi everyone, in this video you will learn how to set up an AWS EC2 instance under free tier to get a server for your app, in this case N810, for next 12 months for absolutely no cost. This is part 4 of our 9 part mini series on mastering N810 workflow automation production setup on AWS free tier. If you are new here, be sure to check out the previous videos in this playlist to get the full picture. So far, we have covered how to set up an AWS free tier account, then set up MFA and set up AWS budget for appropriate cost control. And then in the last part, we have discussed all the prerequisite that we need before we set up an ATEM. Make sure to watch from the start of the playlist to get a smoother learning experience. Click on this video to get started. All the nine parts of this mini course will be released on this YouTube channel over next nine days. And I promise you will learn a lot through this mini course. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified as soon as I release the next video. To make things even easier for the course, I have put together an AWS free tier setup checklist for NHN workflow automation engine that you can download from the link in the description. This guide will help you follow along the course to avoid common mistakes. With that said, let's get started. We're going to set up our EC2 or the server where we will host the NHN instance. So for that, what we will do is we will go to EC2 and you will see EC2 dashboard. Just click here. And you should see no instance running that's fine we will click to launch instance now before we go ahead and launch our instance please make sure you are in the right region so because now i am in uk i will select i can either select us2 or us1 um, predominantly i know there are most of the aws services is in us1 so that's why i'll select us1 first so if you are going to set it up, let's say in South Africa or in India, just select AP South A. So choose the nearest uh, region because you will have less latency. Okay. Make sure that you have this free tier notification is coming there. That will ensure you that you have 750 hours of free in the first year. Okay. And this is only T2 micro. Please note that. Then I'll give it a name. So let's give it not together free c2 um, you can give it any name that doesn't really matter just give it a name i can just give additional tag here uh, i'll just give software n810 this is the tag you can add it uh, or just don't add it doesn't matter okay just to track it now you can use amazon linux or you can use ubuntu that's fine but i of course favors amazon linux because this is also free tier eligible um, so make sure you do not use any other os that is not free tier eligible for example if i select mac os that's not free tier eligible as you can see so please make sure that you are using the image that is free tier eligible select 64 bit x86 architecture which is pre already selected do not use arm because N8 doesn't support ARM based processor yet, so make sure you use this one. And again, your instance type should be T2 micro with 1 GB memory. Um, right now, if you are doing it first time, you will not have a key pair. Uh, what is this key pair? This key pair is where you will have a public key and private key created and installed with your server so that you can use the private key to log in into your server. So usually for the first time when you try to generate an EC2, you will not see any key pair. So make sure to generate a key pair by clicking here and then just give it a name. I'll just give it no together key pair. Um, you can give any name, uh, not a problem. Um, you can select either RSA or ED25519. I think uh, it is more strong key pair and it's encrypted private key you can select this one or you can select rsa i'll go with the default uh, with say now one thing to note here is if you're on windows machine 
select .ppk because you are going to use putty to support ppk file for the private key but because i will be logging in from um, the bash terminal from mac os i will see it select .pm but if you by mistake you have selected .pm that's fine you because you are installing git bash in the earlier step i have already discussed right so if you're using git bash you can still use .pm and still log into the server or even you can use like view terminal from vm from vs code terminal even on windows machine you can use .pem privately file to log in into your server okay just create click here just save the key pair pem file now the next settings this will ask you for network settings for now we are not going to harden it but later on we will fiddle with these settings for now let's go ahead with default so we will allow traffic from anywhere we will of course change it later on uh, but for now we will select allow http traffic from internet so these three we will select for now later we will uh, modify it uh, don't worry about it the other bit is please select this create security group because this is your first time so don't worry about it now it's saying if you are selected 0, 0 that means it's allow all ip addresses again please select it we will refine it later on now it's asking for storage um you note that you have only 30 gb of vs or general purpose storage for free under the free tier okay you can rather should not use a whole 30 gb here the reason is because you are going to set up the n8 and or the server for production that means you need to do some backup and restore later on so some for the backup you need to keep some space so generally i would recommend you go ahead with 12 to 15 gb uh, i would go for 12 gb because then i can take another i can take like two backup and compress it and store it and that i will still be under 30 gb of the limit okay just use one volume that's fine 12 gb should be sufficient for running an 10 in your um, space for a year if you're starting up okay that's it you do not need to fiddle with anything else here these are all um go with the default best uh, configuration uh, we can fiddle with it later on if we need okay i will just hit launch instance now this should take some time for first time and you should see that here you should see that it's instance state it pending so it will take some time when the server will start up and it will be in running stage once it is running i'll come back and we'll proceed with the next steps if you're finding this content helpful don't forget to hit that like button so that the mini course reaches out to a lot wider audience like you and also subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the future videos in this series so that's it for today now you know how to set up your AWS account under free tier and also speed up your first EC2 instance server for absolutely free. In the next video, we will learn about all the prerequisite tools that we need to set up and configure within our server before we set up our N8 for production use. And of course, if you haven't downloaded it yet, don't forget to grab your free AWS free tier N8 and setup checklist from the link in the description below. That will help make your learning experience and setup process even smoother. So make sure you have subscribed and downloaded the free checklist to follow along seamlessly. And thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.